Coming up today, NTV takes a look at Key Club. Two of our teachers celebrate the month of love by fighting and arguing. We show our creative side. And Jenna gives us the latest with sports. All of this on today's NTV. Good morning, McKinney North High School. I'm Eric Avila. And I'm Caitlin Garza. With so many clubs here in North, it's easy to forget some of them. That's why we're shining the spotlight on Key Club. Key Club is a long-standing club here at North. NTV recently had a chat with club president Victor Unani to ask about Key Club. Victor begins by telling us about the Key Club family. It's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's an unconventional, unconventional family. Um, when I first joined in freshman year, it wasn't very... Uh, brought together, but as over the years as I've like moved up in the officer positions um, I've learned to reach out to people and actually like connect with them And I realized that the club got a lot better when everyone knew each other and uh, could have fun with each other was everyone was comfortable Victor then proceeds to describe the work they do for their community basically a, a volunteering uh, club So we focus on volunteer services um, One of the main things we do is called halos where we uh, play t-ball in the spring and fall with um, special needs children uh, for a couple hours every Wednesday. And it, it's really fun. Um, what we're also working on is we actually um, did a fundraiser for selling socks um, to raise awareness for the homeless in the area and we actually donated socks to them and we raised money for them. Next, he goes on to describe why people should join Key Club. Um, you should join Key Club if you want to help improve your community, see what, see everything about it, um, and have fun while doing it. He finishes by telling us why it's worth it to join Key Club. Yes, if you put in the time and effort, it's, it honestly, um, it's worth the, the time you put in, because, I mean, like I said, I've been in it for four years. Um, it's probably the best decision I've made, um, extracurricular-wise. Um, everyone just is so welcoming, and the people you meet, you won't forget. This has been Daryl Knox for NTV. During our holiday special, we had two of our art teachers compete to see who could make the best gingerbread house. For Valentine's Day, we had them rematch to see who could make the best Valentine's Day cookie. No. Excuse me. Are you gonna? Are you slow rolling it? Are you going? Did you, Did you say go? go? He said go. What is this? He said go. It's like the tenth time we've done this. Mm. Yummy, Matilda. She got it control. No, no, don't stick your nasty finger that you just licked all over in there. <laughs> you look more like a Pac-Man. What's your son? One day. One day. But not today. <laughs> but not today. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not with all of that. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna put on here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um. I'm on that side, man. I'm on Watch out, don't fall off this thing. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is disgusting. Don't oh. give it to me. Oh. <laughs> no, ma'am. I bet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. My heart. I've got a <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> so, at first I started with my top layer with my heart. Okay? My heart, it makes purple and pink. This is Valentine's Day colors. It says, I love you with the best purple icing in the center because who doesn't love icing? I still have stuff on my face. Yeah. 
like I love cheese. <laughs> For those who know, I love cheese almost as much as I love Chewbacca. And sprinkles. One day, she'll unlock my heart. Who is? One day. Me? <laughs> oh, look what you just did, you broke it. Uh, uh, Stop breaking my stuff, Dunn. Every time you break it. Look, there, it's together, don't touch. One day. Thank you. Whoever broke their cookie. Are you kidding me? Sorry. I'm sorry. I win. Are these edibles? Oh, don't, don't put that on my face. <laughs> don't put that on my face. I'm sick of this! <laughs> don't put that on my face. <laughs> So who won? It's round two for you. Yes! Sorry. Philip, then you don't know, like, like. you had a bad day, pick one down, sing a sad song, and you turn it around. With so many creative minds here in NTV, it's impossible to fit all of our ideas into our episodes. Luckily, we have NTV Underground to make our visions possible. Welcome back to The Joy of Painting. Um, today we're going to be doing a beautiful piece for our uh, principal of McKinney North High School. Um, so if you'd care to join me, pick up a canvas and some brushes and you know, we'll get right into it. Alright, so for starters we have a Mommy Help Me, I See a Figure in the Closet, it might be a Monster Black, followed by a, a nice, calm, very, ooh, I'm in the ocean, there's a shark coming at me, dark blue, there's a really nice deep blue, I like that color. Right here we have the deep blue eyes of my cousin, not blood related, followed by a nice green, you know, it looks like Nickelodeon slime, followed by Nickelodeon, the actual logo color next to it. Here we have a deep, deep mustard color, my favorite meal, followed by a brighter neon yellow. And that's gonna be really good when we try to recreate the McDonald's symbol in a later episode. So, before we start painting, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna dip our, uh, our brush in a little bit of water real quick. Now it looks yellow. That's actually the lemonade. All right, we got a little too much on it, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna beat the devil out of it. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna transition right into laying down a thin coating of our orange. We're gonna do cross strokes what I think would look nice. Pretty. That's a pretty bulldog. Pretty little thing. Now there's one thing you can't dispute on. Bulldogs have mouths. Almost like he's crying for help, but he's not, because he already won. Mm. Bulldogs have a lot of uh, a lot of wolves to them, they're very, they're very mass ridden. Um, and in order to sort of encapsulate that, I'm gonna include a lot of wrinkles in my bulldog. Um, very majestic. My uh, cousin had a bulldog once. Um, her name was Kitty, and she actually bit off my little sister's thumb. You can give her some eyes right here. Oh, she's a pretty thing to my more flat brush and I'm gonna make sure we get some trees in the background oh good now I don't have a wire brush on me so if you'd like to get more background in that's fine and we just got our God-given brushes right here oh, beautiful you can just just take it to town M. you can include whatever letters you'd like um, if this was for like your daughter or something, um, McKinney North.
My bulldog, if I had one, it would have a very silly hat. All bulldogs have ears. You can't get away without that, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, gorgeous. She's just big boned, and that's okay. I don't want her angry, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give her something fun. And what is more fun than a skateboard? So we're gonna go ahead and just, I don't know about you, but I love monster trucks. Big, big wheels. Oh, oh, she's gonna go fast on those. We're gonna give it a quick black outline, real quick. Mm-hmm. She's going fast in that. Huh. Now, let's add just a little bit more blue for our mascot right on that hat. What do you say? We're gonna take a little bit of this blue. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna fill it in. Right there. Gorgeous. Oh, that, that, that really is a pretty hat. I'm kind of jealous of her. Um, I want to get some of these yellows in real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to go the, we're going to go ahead and just you know, beat the devil, devil out of our brushes. Wow, that hurt. What do you say we add a sun? Uh, I want to bring more attention to this white space, so I'm actually going to put the sun right here. I want to add myself in here real quick. What's he doing down there? Why, well, he's just watching his favorite dog friend. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of our background. I'm going for a more abstract piece. So what I'm actually gonna do. Gorgeous. Look at that. Well, I think that's all about life that I have. I think this piece turned out great. I'm sure yours did too. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, give it a little signature real quick. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun and really discovered on your own way the joy of painting. And um, you know, as a gift, we'd love to present this to our uh, to our principal. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, and we'll see what happens with this piece. You have a great day. Finally, sports with Jenna. The boys basketball team is still undefeated in district with two games left. Their next game is tonight at Denison. The girls team had their last game on Tuesday against Lovejoy. They finished 6-6 six and six in district. Both teams have qualified for playoffs and the girls have their first game on Monday at McKinney High. District play is opening up today for soccer. Both teams are playing Denison. The girls will be at home while the boys will be away. The tennis team is also in action today, hosting their annual tournament here at North. So come out and support Bulldogs. That's all for sports. Now back to you. That's all we have for you today. For the latest on news and sports, follow us at MNHSNTV. Thanks for watching. And have a great Valentine's Day, Bulldogs. <laughs>